if I could go back in time and say, hey, in two years, you're going to be married. You're going to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My guess is that two year younger me would have said something very inappropriate to the current me <laughs> and said to get lost. You know, one thing my grandfather did give me above everything else was just a shared love of golf. He took a set of his old clubs, cut them down, put some electrical tape on the end of them and had me swinging clubs in the backyard five, six years of age. <laughs> but some of my greatest memories are just sitting in a golf cart waiting to tee off just talking to my grandfather, and it's the ability to do that with my own child is something I just can't wait to do. I grew up in a blue-collar family, so I feel like I got a tradition I must have to carry on. I mean, they work hard, so. I break up families essentially for a profession, which means I'm a divorce attorney. I think I have a unique perspective as a divorce attorney because I myself am divorced. We were married for about four years. It was just one of those things where there's two people who worked out fine as friends, but as a married couple, it just it didn't work. After my grandfather passed, it was like losing a father. I was that close to him. So I had everything going wrong. I didn't have an outlet. I didn't have anyone to talk to. I didn't have anyone to pray to. This says that Taya makes everything better. Not tea, Taya. <laughs> Taya is so important to me because she came into my life at a time where I was at my lowest. She was up front about being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I explained to him that we believe when you get married, it's forever, it's eternal. It got me, because I couldn't imagine the fact that my grandparents were married for 60 years, that upon my grandparents passing, that they weren't married anymore. That's what really piqued my interest. So I went up to the missionaries and said, what you got for me? <laughs> I remember when I was in college and I was 19 years old, I mean, you couldn't trust me to, like, scramble an egg properly. <laughs> and these guys are gonna come and teach me about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel isn't 19 years old. The gospel's been around for a long time. He could see how the gospel changed his life and not, not the 19-year-old kid. I was baptized up in Canada by Taya's father. I came out, I changed. I went and I asked Taya's dad for permission to marry Taya. When we got married in Central Park. It was supposed to be done at two o'clock, 3.30, she's in her wedding dress with an umbrella in the pouring rain, sprinting down the Bow Bridge. <laughs> We're waiting for <laughs> We had our Central Park wedding on December 6th, and we're gonna get married in the temple in September. When two married people get sealed in a temple, they essentially are gonna be married for eternity. I didn't think I was ever going to get back up until Taya walked into my life and through her and to the church. I started to learn just how family-centric a successful life should be. 